welcome to the Startup Espresso. I'm Hall T. Martin, the host of the show, where we talk about raising funding for your startup and the time it takes to have an espresso. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Hall T. Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot at startup funding and investing. There are several key elements to running a successful equity crowdfunding campaign. Here's a checklist to consider. Create a campaign plan. This is a list of what you will promote and when. This includes the updates, events, and other activities to promote your fundraise. Build the campaign documents. This includes the pitch deck, video, and talking points. The content should be compelling and high quality. Identify your target audience. Know who will most likely fund your campaign. It's important to understand the careabouts of your audience to know how to promote your fundraise. Assemble a team. Build a group to support the preparation, launch, and ongoing of the campaign. The fundraise takes many skills, so it's important to build a team to run that campaign. May map your investor network. Segment your investors by type, interest, and group. Consider what stage in the campaign to engage each of them. Find additional investor groups. Consider social media and fundraising networks. It's important to have additional investor groups to contact during the campaign as your network will eventually run out. Warm up your crowd. Prepare your network before the campaign begins. Pre-campaign mailers prepare your network for the upcoming fundraise. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we hope startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start us into today. Alti Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinion of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as a basis for investment decisions.